Hello, my YouTube family. Once again, it's the Sarge. Uh, name of the channel, Mix Match Stereo. Uh, today, I think I'm going to play around with my turntable. My last video I did was a uh, was a feature on uh, moderate instruments, and there are components that I have in my system. Here's one here is the Moderate PH 9.0. That'll be featured. The Moderate Analog Bridge. That will be featured. The outboard power supply for the phono stage. That will be featured. The only one that featured in this video will be the uh, modified Oppo. 205, which is modified by Dan Wright. He put tubes in the stereo port of the DVD player output stage, two channel side, and it's outboard power supply, which is two rectified. And it's a 274B that I installed in place of the 5A or 4. All right, so we're going to play an album. Hey, where's the album? We're going to play the whole side of. This album, Pink Floyd, that I bought from uh, Best Buy a few months ago. I have an older version around here somewhere. It's regular uh, 180 gram vinyl. Yep, I'm very glad that Best Buy and a few other stores, a few other stores have started selling vinyl. I don't have a huge vinyl collection. I have a few. That is uh, my vinyl collection. Got a little bit here. Got some here. A lot of these are friends donated to me. One of my friends that retired from the U.S. Army, Mr. Donald Dismuke. All right, so here's my uh, turntable. It's a VPI Classic 3. Um, I love this turntable. It's my second BPI turntable. Thanks to uh, Harry and Matt Weissel of New Jersey. I purchased this from Overtures at the request of my good uh, friend, my late friend, uh, Joe Jessick. He sold me the uh, Scout Junior. And he said this one is coming up down the pipe. Customer wasn't was going to trade it in. And he asked me was I interested. And I said, most definitely. Nice turntable. I love VPI turntables. Father and son team. All right. And the album, once again, is Pink Floyd. I'm playing the uh, side B version of it. All right. And. This is why I don't play a lot of turntables, a lot of vinyl. It is a Zephyr Mark III soundstage uh, phono cartridge. Uh, it's a moving magnet. The one I had in there was a, right here. It was a Hannah. Uh, this was a moving coil. Let's see, get the Hannah ML, which I paid 1500 bucks for. It was in the VPI, and it wouldn't play one day. It sounds all distorted. And the reason why, this is a phono cartridge that you plug into your tone arm. So you got the phono cartridge, you got this piece here, which is called the cantilever. Right, and for years I thought this was the needle, the part that actually made the uh, turntable play. But the bottom part that that sticks out from the cartridge body, that's called a cantilever, and you can barely see with it with the naked eye. But inside that cantilever is a stylus, which we always call the needle. And it's very easy 
if you don't clean it properly, to fall out. So you have the cantilever on your carcass body, and you might think that's the needle. It's not the needle. It holds the needle in place. And the needle is normally a little piece of diamond that goes in that little slot, if you can see it, at the bottom of the cantilever. And depends on how you clean it or how regularly you clean it, that uh, diamond can fall out. And you wonder why your turntable is not playing properly? Probably because you know, you knock the uh, needle off of the cantilever. And that needle is, makes the, uh, the turntable actually play music. Yeah, so that needle is gone. And uh, hopefully you can get you you can get these uh, replace the needles. I'm gonna take it back to Overture's. Maybe they send it somewhere and get the uh, restyle. Get the rest get the stylus replaced in there. Yeah. So you got your cartridge. You got your cantilever, which is sticking out at the bottom. <clears throat> and inside that cantilever goes the stylus which track the grooves <coughs> of your album and cause it to play. <coughs> so that was a moving coil. But because of Dan Wright and his magnificent funnel stage, I have this own moving coil, which will be right there. All right, so I put the new needle on no, the new cartridge, rather, which is a sound stage. Now, I'm not good with turntables. I didn't set it up properly. <laughs> All I did was replace the cartridge. So I went from a moving coil cartridge. Now I'm playing the sound stage, which is a moving magnet cartridge. So this phono stage is uh, at the play both cartridges, moving coil and moving magnet. And the same thing with my uh, my uh, Macintosh preamp. It has a, also a moving magnet and moving coil uh, input. All right, so I'm going to be playing this album, Pink Floyd, with my sound stage, if you can see that. Or sound smith, I'm, I'm sorry, sound smith. My sound smith. Zephyr 3 moving magnet cartridge. I mean, I didn't set it up properly. I just replaced the cartridge. I'm not very good at setting up turntables. Uh, that was done by my former uh, partner, uh, Mr. Joe Jezik. He did it all for me. God bless his soul. All right, so we're going to pause this a little bit and get this uh, turntable rocking. Now, granted, once again, the turntable is not set up properly. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to pause this and we're going to restart this once I mount the phone in its correct position. I hook the phone up to my uh, Tascam Porter Capture X8.